Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Look at, it's the greatest channel you've ever seen. Off the ranch. Welcome. We're actually heading up to the depot of homes uh, so we can get some stuff. Uh, I need to, I have a big Smile More sign, like a neon. It's not really neon, I don't think, but it kind of has that look. Um, and Roman gave it to me a few years ago because we require a gift whenever anyone comes and stays with us for the first time. And his gift was a big Smile More neon sign. We thought it'd be cool to put it up in the YouTuber apartment, so we did. But then when we moved, uh, I took it out. And so it was like hardwired in. I had hardwired whenever I flipped a switch it turned on. Now I'm gonna rig up a wire so that we can just plug it into a wall and put it in the front of Bunker Branding since Bunker Branding and Small More have partnered. So I'm heading to get some parts to make all that work. And I wanna try to find a switch, like to where it'll always be plugged in, you can go and hit a switch and turn it off. Ideally, that's the plan. Okay, I couldn't find a good switch that I like, so I just bought this little extension cord because I can just chop it and then I can get the exact link I, link I need. This is an eight foot extension cord. So I don't really know where the plugs are gonna be compared to where I wanna hang it. And I got some heat shrink to wrap around there. It'll be great. Up at the bunker, and you can see we got the small more sign up. Here are the inner guts of the LED. How cool is that? That is so sweet. Like these are all the little lights. Each one of these has three little lights. And it, yeah, when I was putting this thing together, I wanted to make sure they were spaced. Hey, you did great wiring this. Way to go, you know? Look, actually really cool. I didn't know what to expect when I opened it up. So Roman says I need to hook this onto the wall. I'm actually just gonna hang it with two screws. I think that will be plenty. I got these big old fat screws with anchors. Oh, yeah, these are big enough. It's solid. This thing's, this thing's solid though. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. And then uh, I need to do some wiring. Be right back. Nice, man. Piece of cake. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna hold this thing up with two screws. The problem is this thing should be like wired better where it's like wired through the wall. We're just gonna have a wire running down but it's gonna be right over this thing, which is actually a cool thing in the bunker. We have this big map of the United States and people come and put their little pins on here. So wherever people come from, wherever they live, their hometown, they put their pins on here. Is every state represented? I think so. Man, it, it does kind of look. All right, Rhode Island, where y'all at? Get in here. You have to come in here and purchase something in here. You know, we got a couple in Nevada over there. Yeah, most, most state, I think everyone except so, Rhode Island. Whichever one, whichever one this is, I can't remember if it's Vermont or New Hampshire. I don't know either. I think it's Vermont, actually. They're gonna be really mad if that's not Vermont. I bet you that's New Where's Hampshire. Hawaii? Oh yeah, we got, we got two people from Hawaii up here. So, uh, get in here. Anyway, back to this. We're gonna put this, uh, we're just gonna drop some sheetrock anchors in this wall, and then we're gonna mount the uh, sign up here, and then I'll wire it really ugly on the outside going around this big map, and it'll be great. Montage, editor. So I may or may not have uh, sort of shocked some stuff earlier. So I'm just gonna hook this up temporarily and then we're actually gonna get an electrician to come in and hook it permanently. So it's gonna be um, very, very janky right now. I just wanna see it turn on and ideally not burn down the place. So we're just gonna hook these wires together, leave these wires just dangling and plug it in. It's gonna be great. Aha! Oh! See, now just come touch these wires with your tongue. It'll be great. <laughs> All right, so soon we're gonna rig it up so it actually works and won't kill anyone. Coming up soon on Off the Ranch. <laughs> you got um, what is this? You said thirty thousand. I'd say it's close to thirty. Close 000. to thirty thousand entries on the truck. Look at this. I, I don't know how to do it without showing addresses. But <laughs> these buckets are full of these. These are orders with names and addresses on them. 
like that. This is for the green Toyota. Yeah, we got all their names all ready and we're gonna try to figure out some way to like throw them up in the eat. We can just dump them off of here and we gotta try to catch them, but then there's so many, like I don't wanna get hit by them. We have to pick someone out of these four bins to win the green Toyota. So what we've decided, we're gonna take all these buckets up on a forklift and we're gonna dump them into a bucket down on the ground. We're gonna take the forklift all the way to the top of the bunker up here. We'll dump it down and we'll keep doing that and every time uh, we'll take the bucket up. So I'm not making any sense. We're gonna have a bucket at the bottom. We're gonna dump everything in. Everything that doesn't make it in the bucket, those guys are out. And then we take the bucket back up, dump it again. So you want, to, you want your car to keep making it in the bucket. Everyone who doesn't is out until we are left with like just a few cards and I'll show you what we're gonna do after that. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm in the forklift. Safety first though. Is Can't fall out. Bungee jump from that. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll just follow the stuff down. I'll just. Ah. This will be great. Are you gonna have to take these up high to make them fly? I'm gonna take them as high as I can go. I'm gonna be scared. Okay. I feel safer than I ever have. Let's do it. My life is in your hands, Hunter. No, man. Is six feet high enough? No. We're at like nine feet now. I don't need that. <laughs> okay, that's good. Whoa. That's as high as I can go. Don't go higher. <laughs> yeah, do it. You know, we've come up with a lot of good ideas before. This one. Dude, oh this, this moves a lot. <laughs> Let it rain. Okay. That oh, 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 oh. That's perfect. That works great. So everyone who is in this bucket, I'm going to save a few of y'all that are about to fall out. You guys are all going to round two and Roman's dumping. I didn't think it would be full. Yeah, we could go smaller bucket this round. Get yeah, it gets can. smaller oh, and smaller. Go. There's a smaller bucket right I there. I love it. All right, four buckets filled one bucket. Hey, so we should just, get about a quarter in. Let me just say that Ian Flores and Keith Brownsberger and Stephanie Bjork, I'm really sorry about y'all. Y'all are on the floor. And Emma Mill, unfortunate. Sorry. Got a few guys back in the game. You're back in the game. Oh, you're gonna try to drop singles? I'm gonna do a couple singles for video. All right, Alexander, this could be you. Could be moving on to the next round. Nope. <laughs> Lindsay. Come on, Lindsay, get oh. there. Get there, Lindsay, get there. Oh. Oh. Got this. Don't fall. Oh. Hard. <laughs> Look at all the ones that are caught up there. We got a new little box here. We got this thing half full. We're gonna dump it and Roman missed one. So you automatically move on to the next round. Charles Price. I got you, buddy. Coming in hot. We got some. We have about 30 to 50 cards left. We're gonna each throw them one at a time, trying to get them into the green bucket down there. Are we doing first one to land it in, it wins? I think. What if it, like the first one goes in? Never gonna happen. First one. Who's gonna be the one? Oh, oh. 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 so close. Uh, this is James Ellis. Come on, James, get there. Oh! oh. All right. I, I, I oh, I thought flipping it would make it go Not straight even down. Close. Oh, those are light. Oh, those things fly. Hey, what if none of them make it? Yeah. We're gonna, gonna, <laughs> if none make it, we're going to keep the last two and we're going to have a competition with just the last two. Oh, okay. Can we move two. In closer? Yeah. All right, Katie, here we go. Shoo. Here you go, Nathan. Oh. Oh. God, they don't want to go in. What if I start here and yeah, let it spiral? I'll start wide, too. Oh, I'm so oh. oh my gosh, it touched it? Whoa, John Cena bought one of our shirts. Just kidding. <laughs> Says Tina. <laughs> Dude, this is hard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so close. Okay, 
We're gonna get you some up high shots. Go ahead, Roman. There we go. Oh, we moved the bucket. Here we go. Just gonna. Let's see how close they are from here. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, oh they oh, like dodge They look it, like they're going they and they just They literally like just bet. Yeah. yeah, once they get moving fast, they're gone. All right, who we got here? Ian Mitchell. Here you go, Ian. Coming in, Ian. Oh, not even close, uh, Ian. Man, you messed up, dude. I'm gonna do two at a time. Oh, no. All right, I got one more. Dude, it's so much harder than I thought. All right, we thought that actually might work. We're down to two. There's two left, and there's two different names. So, Sean Button. Sean Button and... Mitchell Eames. We have a 50-50. You're going to win right now. Sean Button. Should we do whoever gets closest to something? Bring the big bucket over. Bring the big green bucket over. I got Mitchell Eames. You got Sean Button. Sean Button, this is for you, buddy. Now, Mitchell, this is for you. If we both miss, it's whoever's closest. We need some spotters. No, then we start from we start back over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, spotter, y'all get all around so you can find exactly where it lands. Here we go, Sean. Come on, Mitchell. Oh no! Nice. Either one is really close. Far. They're both far. Let's let's shoot again. Yeah. Well, this is the hardest game I've ever played. We've decided no more buckets. Buckets are for losers. We're gonna make paper airplanes and see who can throw the paper airplane the furthest. Oh, I have Sean's now. Mitchell, right. I got you. Sean, I switched teams. I'm on your team now, buddy. We're going that way. Sean from South Carolina. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I'm award-winning paper airplane yeah. manufacturer. You go first, so I have something to beat. All right, Mitchell, this is for you, bud. Oh, oh my, my God! God. Oh, oh, oh. So good. We're all the way over there. Sean, look, dude. Hey. Brett, I, I can't beat Brett, that. Brett, go get a shot of it. Go get a shot of it. And then and then show how far we are. Dude, that was solid. That thing was a bullet. No, I'm going I'm going up. Ready? Come on, Sean. Oh! Dang it. <laughs> Mitchell! Mitchell's the winner. Mitchell. Oh, that was nice. You can catch one of these. You get a Toyota pickup, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yes. Hello? I'm just trying to call you about your insurance claim that you made last Friday. Over insurance at, claim? Yeah, over at Flagstaff near the uh, Walmart. I did not file a claim. In your 83 Toyota pickup? I don't have an 83 Toyota pickup. You want one? Who is this? <laughs> this is Roman and Matt. I'm sorry? <laughs> This is Roman Atwood and Matt Carricker. Okay. Do you apply to win a 1983 pickup truck? Oh, holy <laughs> <laughs> I really thought we were getting I pranked I thought we right had now. the wrong number. <laughs> holy cow. You won the truck. Right. Uh, seriously? You're the winner. For real, dude. Holy smokes, that's awesome. <laughs> I wish you would have asked who you were. <laughs> <laughs> holy cow, I thought you were like Googling our names real quick. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so you live out in Flagstaff? I do, yeah. You gonna be driving that thing on the Flagstaff roads? The Flagstaff roads might even be too rough for that truck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bet on it. You are the official winner, my friend. Thank you. Uh, it was it was quite the challenge to get this name. I'll tell you that. Um, we'll get a hold of you for shipping. Uh, I wanted to. So I talked to my wife about it beforehand. I'm like, in the off chance that we win it, if we want the truck or the money value okay what should we do i think we would like to get the money value <laughs> that means we get to keep the truck <laughs> <laughs> i kind of saw this coming actually yeah we knew you had a wife you're for sure gonna pick the money we, we get it <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, can i follow up with you let me just talk with her about it because i honestly didn't think we'd win <laughs> absolutely absolutely you've got 12 hours <laughs> Enjoy, you're the winner. Let us know. We'll get a hold of you uh, shortly. Cool, that's awesome. Thanks so much. Congrats, man. All right, thanks again. Talk to you soon. Hey, guess who just got a 1983 Toyota pickup? <laughs> <laughs> we did! Yo, at first, I really thought that somebody just I thought someone put somebody his name else's in. name. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what in the world? And when he answered, like, this is Mitchell. Like, we knew we were talking to Mitchell. <laughs> but then he's like, Matt, Carriker, and Roman Atwood. Who? Uh, like, okay. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, truck's gone. Let's move on. Congrats, Mitchell, with your $15,000. The truck's actually not gone. <laughs>
that's Roman and Brittany sitting down looking at designs, working with the design team here. Uh, that was all of our graphic designers in there, plus a few of the managers, Clint, in there. Um, everybody just trying to figure out what uh, Roman and Brittany want to do and kind of given some of their ideas and some ideas Roman and Brittany had that they have like put into a design and then getting their feedback from it. So that's kind of what we do too. Uh, we never film it, which I've never really thought about until now. Like I do that meeting with those guys all the time. Like some, I'll have some idea, like I want to make a Eldorado t-shirt. I want to, I want to wear it to the next Cletus and Cars or whatever. And so I'll take a picture of Eldorado and I'll give it to my graphic designers and they knock out a uh, awesome picture of it and then they bring it back to me and I'll be like, yes, but more tire smoke or whatever. And it's, it's kind of fun. And we have five graphic designers right now and they're all super talented. And we well, have certain ones that are good at certain things and certain that, you know, some are really good at like taking a picture of a car and turning it into like the cartoon version and it's amazing. Some people are really good with fonts and letters and that kind of stuff. Some people do totally custom stuff um, and just, they can just make my weird ideas into reality, but anyway. Appreciate all of our guys we got working at Bunker because this place is really shaping up. Like coming from what it was, where it was just Mare and I, and we uh, decided to start selling shirts, and we had to figure out how to do that. And so we started hiring. You know, well, first we just had our friends working with us, and then we started hiring people because we realized we could, can't keep up with just our friends, and it just grew and grew and grew out of our place into a rental warehouse, and then we grew out of that warehouse. And we had to build this one and. Now we got Roman Atwood in here. This is it's cool. This this whole bunker branding thing has been quite the project and uh, has been really rewarding to see how far it's come. And now we're giving away trucks. Well, actually, we're not because he did pick the cash, which is probably what normal people would pick. Um, like unless you just had tons of money and you were a super fan and just like man, like maybe you're Roman super fan. You're like man, Roman Atwood had this truck in his house. I want that truck. It's like a talking piece or a cool toy, or if you're just a super fan of Toyota pickups, maybe. But any normal person with like a family is gonna be like, fifteen thousand dollars sounds a lot better. So, anyway, we got fifteen thousand dollars heading your way, Mitchell. Thank you for entering. Thank you all you guys who entered. Since I am the best husband ever, I bought this for Mayor today. She needed a concrete bit, and I didn't have any concrete bits because she needs me to drill a table that's outside so it doesn't hold water. And yesterday, you can imagine it held a lot of water with that rain. These things hold water. You think it's gonna work? I don't know. I'm gonna just try it. It's ceramic. I think it'll work. I'm just worried it'll crack. Come on, get there. Just don't crack. It's going. No, it's getting there. Perfect. I think I'll just put two holes in each one. Call it good. Hey, y'all look pretty comfy right now. This is like the uh, in this Texas in the wild. This Texas weather right here. <laughs> this is awesome. Matt, you've created a masterpiece, bro. Y'all moving here or what? Yeah. I'm moving in. I'm moving, <laughs> moving in. Moving here? Speaking of exposed, right past Britain, you can see our trash pile right there down the hill. Just Just, the we usually don't show that. <laughs> I always talk about how people make jokes about moving to Texas. Donut operator did it. AK guy did it. They make jokes and then they like, the next time they come down, they're like, maybe we could move here. They like think about it and then the next time they start looking at houses. These 100% guys. 100% what happened. Y'all are on step we three. We joking. Yeah. And, and this has been a long process. Yep. It's not yeah, it's there's not a timeline necessarily. It's just usually like it starts with jokes It starts with maybe it could work and then it just kind of continues on to let's just look at some houses let's just I see. mean we're working with bunker. I want to be close. I have an excuse now. Everyone has excuses here. Excuses happen naturally. I have work here. I, I am hoping y'all <laughs> get a house here. It'll be amazing. It would be cool, man. It would be cool <laughs> And I mean you get this nice beautiful sun we're all the time. We're going to look at four houses tomorrow <laughs> All right I don't want to say I told you so. That's about as close as you get to moving. I told you so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't fall in love. Hey, uh, we actually just went out to a nice restaurant. Uh, it was great. Bohannon's in San Antonio. Really cool place. And the guys were awesome. And the food was great. Got some steaks. Uh, but I wanted to show y'all before I ended this vlog. Uh, the damage from all the rain yesterday. The damage wasn't bad. But we just had some erosion. So all these rocks right here. Sorry I'm showing you guys this at night. All these rocks were covered. Oh, what the? Oh. Oh my gosh, I just saw a mouse. Okay, apparently I have a mouse that lives down under the slab. Where'd you come from? I don't think he was in my house. We haven't ever seen a mouse in the house, but he lives in the slab. There's an Annie. Hi. 
<laughs> so all these rocks were covered by topsoil. So we moved all the dirt in. This is all just like fill stuff. And we covered all the topsoil so we put grass on it. And the rain just washed all that. You can actually see some pipes over there and stuff. Washed all this stuff down right here. But nothing too bad. I was worried about erosion because it like just flooded like crazy. But not too bad at all. Had some little rivers through here. And there's a few other places around the property where that happened. I can't believe I saw a mouse. But all in all, life is good up here. We uh, definitely need to get some more grass in. We just haven't got to that point yet. We're close. So I wanna make one big epic video when we finally get the yard work done. And then I'll be totally done with renovating an abandoned mansion. That video, ideally, Dude, I'm like jumpy now, like a mouth. I just saw my shadow of the camera down here and thought it was something moving. I need to go to bed. Soon though, we'll get you a final renovating an abandoned mansion episode. Coming to you hot, right here. Thanks for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. Congratulations, Mitchell, on your new Toyota. Just kidding, he picked the money. Congratulations on the money. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the Toyota pickup. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.